Hi, my name is Ryan and welcome or welcome back to Libertech. So today's video we will be looking at an app called Profile Scheduler which of course makes your phone more automatic if you have not read the title which you probably have. So let's go check it out. As soon as you enter the app you will be greeted by some boxes called Quick Tips. Just tap do not D display next time and click dismiss. What you see now are different profiles and the best way to use this app is to get rid of all of them. As editing each set profile will just cause you more trouble and is more time consuming than of course we actually need. Unfortunately you are going to have to select and delete each one one by one as this app does not seem to support multi-select as far as I know. I really thought this was extremely odd considering this is a really good app. I've noticed that I keep forgetting to turn my Wi-Fi off when I'm not using it so I'm going to create a profile to save battery life. What I'm going to do is create a new profile and call it something like screen off. And in here, you have a bunch of selections in the profile editor, such as the icon you see when the profile is selected, the color of the profile, you've got volume options, such as vibrate from wind tone, notification wind tone, etc. Then you've got your wireless and networks, brightness, auto sync. And you can even choose if an app opens or closes when this profile is selected. I think this is a really awesome idea to have in a profile scheduler to automate your phone as sometimes you will forget to close down some battery draining apps, especially games. So what I am going to do now is go back to Wi-Fi and change it to off. This now makes sure that when this profile is activated, Wi-Fi turns off. Therefore, saving battery. I also remember that the internet browser drains battery as well, so let's make sure that when this profile is activated, that app is closed down. You can find both options if you scroll down. You will find launch app and close app. And if I tap close app, you can see you can select any app that you want to close down when a profile is activated. And unfortunately, you can only select one app per profile. This is a really big negative point for the app. So just for the fun of this video, if I scroll up, I'm going to turn off Bluetooth so that Bluetooth turns off when the profile is activated. And I'm also going to turn off mobile data so that mobile data is turned off when this profile is activated. So now let's go over a slight checklist. When this profile is activated, Wi-Fi turns off, Automap Browser is closed, Bluetooth is turned off and mobile data is turned off. We could easily just manually switch between each profile but sometimes we might forget to do that like we forget to turn off our Wi-Fi or close down our battery draining game or app like Facebook. So luckily for us this app comes with a way to set an automatic trigger so that certain profiles can be activated when something happens on the phone. This is where the rule comes in. Tap on the top right and then tap on rule. And this will take you to the place which we're going to select trigger. Select your current profile, which of course mine is screen off. And I'm just going to be lazy here and call it screen off trigger. This might be a lazy way, but it is definitely one of the easiest ways to remember. Just for your profile, give your profile a name and then when you create a trigger, just type exactly the same profile name but add the word trigger at the end. This way you can know exactly which triggers activate which profile. After giving your trigger a name, click OK and the option we want here is conditions. This option will allow us to select what triggers the profile, so click on the plus and here you will find a list of options. What I'm going to select is screen, condition, and then click on screen off. Because of course I want this profile to activate when the screen turns off. Of course, like usual, every single thing 
MS app is optional for the trigger, for the profile. What I'm showing you here for the screen of the safe battery is just an example. So if I pull down for my notification bar and turn my Wi-Fi on and wait for it to connect, then go into it. As you can see by the little switch, my Wi-Fi is on. If I turn the screen off, wait a few seconds, turn it on and pull down, go back in and the switch is off. So this app definitely works and it is saved by battery a ton. All I'm saying is that if you're someone who suffers with battery draining, forgets to turn the Wi-Fi off, forgets to close a battery draining game when you're not using it, then this app is definitely for you and the link to this app will be in the description below. There is two types, there is the free version and the plus version. So yeah, uh, go click the link in the description below. If this video helped you in any way possible, then don't forget to smash the like button and then the subscribe button. And if you want, you can even leave a comment below. The comment box is below the description, which is below this video. So uh, yeah, what are you waiting for? Go comment.